I just got back from Cerakote Advanced Training and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about some of what I learned. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. That's right, I just got back from Southern Oregon at Cerakote headquarters and took the advanced training. A year and a half ago, I went and I took the certified applicator training. I've got a separate video on that, all about the fundamentals. We also did a multi-cam uh, color scheme on some AR parts. That was really great and it really set the stage for the work that I've shown you here on the channel in the last year and a half. We've done Cerakote, we've done multicolor with masking, we've done a bunch of laser imaging, a lot of really cool projects. This time I thought I would try a couple different things that I haven't tried before. Elite series, we did a little bit of micro slick, uh, experimenting on some parts, and we did this project. So this is an MDT ACC chassis. You've seen it here on the channel. It started its life as an FDE tan chassis that I believe we used for the 6GT build. Uh, and it's, it's been a great performer. Uh, I felt like, wow, this is a great canvas for a distressed Cerakote project, which is what you see here. I also brought this Athlon Helos BTR Gen 2, 6 to 24 by 56 optic and cantilever mount. I wouldn't necessarily use a cantilever mount on a bolt action rifle, but these were the parts that I had laying around. Brought them down, really, really interesting learnings with regard to some of the masking and preparation that you need to do for an optic. It's really great to have a vinyl cutter. My trainer cut some masking circles for the, the lenses on either end, which was really handy. It gets right up to the edge perfectly. Just use some digital calipers, measure it, and then cut to that particular diameter. Really great trick. And then for some of the striping, there were some standoffs and then rotating kind of the tape roll kind of techniques that uh, were super helpful to get things lined up real nice. Uh, also with an optic, you have to be real careful uh, about the sort of prep process with regard to adhesion, right? So we're not gonna blast an optic. That would send aluminum oxide sand into all sorts of cracks and crevices where we don't want that. So after it was masked, my trainer actually uh, showed me the technique of using Scotch-Brite pads to scuff the anodized aluminum. So that and then lower curing temperatures, I believe we cured this at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. Uh, so the preparation of the optic was, was really the only prep thing that was really different. The chassis just got blasted. We removed the FDE Cerakote and got it down to the bare aluminum. Uh, it was completely disassembled at that point. Uh, all these parts are, <laughs> are fun to keep track of, so I put those in different cups and that sort of thing. Uh, and then we went about the application of three different colors here. Uh, we've got the base coat of yellow. We did, I think, four or five coats. The yellow is a little bit different to apply. Uh, the coverage is a little bit less per coat, so hence we did quite a few more coats than, than I would typically do. I'm usually at two or three coats for something like a graphite black barrel. This was more like four to six coats, and it really just depends on what kind of coverage you're getting and then what kind of corners and crevices that you have that maybe are, are a little slower to accept the, the coating, that sort of thing. So, after, and then we did yellow on the optic as well, and then put it in the oven. And I believe we had it in the oven for about 20 minutes as a flash cure. So a flash cure is what you're gonna do when you need to handle the parts and you want it to not get fingerprints on it, but you don't want it to be so far in the curing process that the subsequent coats of Cerakote won't be able to, uh, to have the solvent activate the substrate and adhere to it, right? It's a very tricky balancing act, but uh, it's also not rocket science. <laughs> so after we did the flash cure, uh, we did the green. And for the green, we did some masking here on the chassis. It's basically just the Arca rail and these four end stripes here. And then we did a complete coating on the optic except for the areas, these bands here that were, that were masked off. Then we did another flash cure and then racked the parts out again and fogged some graphite black, right? This is not a complete coat. This is a partial coat and uh, is not super critical because we, we then, after that flashed for a little bit, used 
various products to kind of wipe it away and get it into the crevices and that sort of thing. So we used some paper pads, we used some steel wool, and we used some Scotch-Brite. Kind of depends on kind of which uh, areas you're getting and, and how thick the coating is, that sort of thing. So one thing that I would do a little bit differently was uh, I, I feel like the green is a little bit too solid. I kind of pictured it breaking through a little bit more and showing the yellow kind of in streaks. So I think uh, on my next job where I simulate this, I'm kind of thinking about doing this again, but industrial, maybe black and white or something like that. I will probably put the coating on a little thinner and then I will hit it a little harder and a little sooner potentially to burn through it and show the base coat a little bit more. But these are all things that I can finesse and they're really the nuances of that particular look that you're going for. And, and really the purpose of the training was to, to figure out what the techniques are and, and all of the different variables, of which there are many, <laughs> right? So advanced training was a lot of fun. Uh, we were gonna try and film down there, but their crew was pulled over to the SEMA auto show, so we didn't do a whole lot of filming potentially next time I go down or maybe when they come up here if that ever happens. So if you're interested in Cerakote, I would highly recommend that you do take the training and to take it once for me wasn't enough, right? It's a little bit like when I took Gordy Gritter's rifle building class. There's so much information to take in, uh, sometimes you're left with lingering questions. And so fortunately I know Gordy and I've been able to have a lot of follow-up discussions, but I would definitely go back to Gordy's class just like I went back to Cerakote. And, uh, you know, there were some things that I learned at the advanced training uh, about pressure settings and gun settings that I hadn't mastered. You know, my results were fine, but, you know, in terms of getting just the optimal thickness and the optimal laydown of, of the coats and, and optimizing those gun settings and material settings, that's where the advanced training really came in handy. So I'm looking forward to picking up the gun here in my shop again and uh, putting some of those skills to use. So my question to you, have you taken the advanced training? What was your experience and how was it beneficial to you? Uh, also, if there's specific Cerakote projects that you wanna see here on the channel, drop a comment and we'll start that discussion. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video. Uh, side note, lots more projects coming up, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications. Anyhow, that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.